Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Swimmers here. Swimmers here. The Adult Swim Podcast. Ice cream. Fudge. That's what I'm saying. There's so many Fire of them. Flies. I think, you know, honestly, that's why I uh, I have Vanilla, a streamio milk, set up for cream. bootlegging. The best things <laughs> in life start with the simplest. So we're trying real hard Better to watch with this Drinky the Crow thing. Oh, Drinky Crow, there you I go. love you, but you have to choose between me and the drinking. Please say something. Okay, so the premise of the show. Yeah. So, so the premise of the show uh, for everybody, it's a. Uh, You've got Drinky the Crow, who's an often drunk crow. Yeah, he's and got then big you got X's on his eyes. Uncle Gabby, who is a drunken Irish monkey. Mm-hmm. And uh, the setting is uh, like 19th century nautical setting. Yeah. And uh, the main which, characters are constantly se- at war with the French. Which seems totally evident. You it know, does, 19th yeah. century is seafaring. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? you know? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a fun, it's it's a lot of a lot of a lot of humor but to pull he's from sitting that. At this, he's sitting at this table with this girl. I don't think Drinky ever talks. By the no. way, so she said you have to either go with me or with the drinking, and he just vomits on her. Vomits so, all over, yeah. And no. uh, and by the way, the French are all alligators. Oh, okay. She threw him out. He just drinks some more. You're putting me onto something new. Watching really? this, yeah, I've yeah. never yeah. ever seen the Drinking Crow show. Never even heard of it. <laughs> Okay, so created by Tony Millionaire, and yeah, I, totally I had there. some I had some facts on Tony Millionaire. Let me see if I can find them real quick. So at the orig- at the initial- yeah he did the sock monkey uh, oh. comics. Oh really? Yeah, the sock monkey comics and picture books, and then uh, he okay. he had a comic strip uh, syndicated called because uh, he's a cartoonist and an illustrator uh-huh. and uh, author as well, obviously. But uh, he uh, Makies, I've never heard of it. M A A K I S. Yeah, so you can yeah. it, that's his website. M A K what I E. S M double A K I E S A A and that's what uh this is supposed to be based on. This so, Drunky the Clown is based on Makey's. So you got Tony Millionaire. Um if you go to Makey's.com, you can learn <clears throat> you can learn about Tony Millionaire. Uh it says about Mr. Millionaire. And it's a it's a great picture. Like it is like nineteenth century looking. You know, you when know. I first glanced at it, it almost looked like uh What's his name? I can't even think of people's names sometimes. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, I had his name too. He was a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, Tim um, Cook. Yeah, he kind of like when I first glanced Not at Tim it. Tim Cook. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Yeah, there you go. Tim Cook's it. the Apple guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it says Tony Millionaire was born in Boston, grew up in Gloucester, Massachusetts. He attended the Massachusetts College of Art for three and three quarters, <laughs> three and three quarters of a year. Which the nautical, the nautical theme makes sure, more sense. Sure. That's a port city. Tony writes and draws the ongoing adventures of Sock Monkey, published by Dark Horse Comics since 1998. He's the creator of the. I may have a couple of those, by the way. You might, yeah. yeah. If you do, that'd be something well, fun you know, to talk about. I had all that show. shit up in my attic, and I brought all those comics in. They're there may be a sock monkey. There might in there. be. That'd be good to read. That's about. about the right time too. That would be a good crossover episode for Adult Swim <laughs> and for uh, the comic book podcast, Bros, Foes, and Heroes. He is the creator of the syndicated comic strip Makey's, which is run in weekly newspapers across the country since 1994, and he's been uh, collected by Fantagraphics. He's a blah 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 blah. Tony's work has garnered him five Eisner awards and the three Eisners, Harvey awards the and coveted an Eisner. Ignatz award. This comic strip Makey's was adapted for the small screen for Saturday Night Live in 2008 as the Drinky Crow Show. The Drinky Crow for, Show. For Cartoon Network's Adult Swim. Which is a lot of violence. So a lot of his humor in this is uh, graphic. It's all about drunkenness, violence, uh, uh, 
suicide, a venereal disease, yeah. all these kind of sea scurvy things. He's you done know? a bunch of stuff for the New Yorker, Wall Street Journal. He did a album, yeah. tons of album covers, one for They Might Be Giants and then Elvis Costello a couple of times. So. Which They Might Be Giants is a really good band. Oh, yeah. Really quirky. Well, quirky I mean, whether you like... Constantinople is Istanbul. Whether you like um, uh, Elvis Costello or not, he's still pretty damn big at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Elvis Costello is huge. All right, so we're, sure. we're out on the sea. It's like a pirate ship boat, kind of. Yeah. The monkey and Drinky are in a a little boat. Now he's drinking. Yeah, he's just Let's chugging. Go. He threw the picture of his girlfriend in the water, and now he's chugging. Harpoon, please. Harpoon, <laughs> please. So he just stabbed like a dead. flesh-colored. Why would that be so great? Like monster fish. Sea fish. Okay, stop. God, yeah. Oh no, they are the talking. He does talk. Horrible torches. That's the drunken Irish Die! monkey. Yeah. He stabs the big thing. It bleeds all over him. Jesus. <laughs> Which, uh, <laughs> pause it for me real fast. So, uh, I will go ahead and just introduce the voice yeah, actors man, that do them. So, Drinky Crow is, uh, you know him, uh, from you TV know him. programs you him from such TV's as programs. Mr. Show, TV Funhouse, Matt Ooh. TV, The Dana Carvey Show. Who is this? The Late Show with David Letterman, The Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Uh, Mr. Constantinos Pollux Alexandros Stamatopoulos D- Dino Stamatopoulos I do know Dino Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's his that full way. name yeah. That's his full yeah, name but... that way, I know <laughs> But Demo, uh, <laughs> like... Dino St- Stamatopoulos well, Before that it was just name. a bunch of consonants shoved together Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, Greek names are interesting to, to, are. to try to pronounce Greek names and Greek uh, the, the, the economy Yeah, yeah, yeah The Greek economy He uh, They said that uh, whenever they stopped building stuff in 2008 When their economy collapsed yeah. That there is like a new set of ruins now so they have the old ruins, the ancient ruins, mm-hmm. and then now they have the economic ruins of 2008, <laughs> which they just stopped all construction. Yeah, yeah. So there's like all there's like of ghost these. Towns and stuff. Well, it's not even finished. like ghost buildings in middle of towns yeah. and stuff. So yeah. it's the same way in China. Like their their economy is pop- propped up by a bunch of empty buildings. Yeah. Like just to make it look like they're they're really succeeding. Yeah, and uh, Uncle Gabby is. Oh, oh my God! God my bad. He just shot himself in the head. Yeah, Wait, what are you saying, Uncle Gabby? Sir? Uncle Gabby is uh, David Herman. Oh, and David Herman oh, yeah, does yeah, a lot yeah. of voices yeah. on King Tons of the King Hill. of the Hill stuff. Yeah, and actually, the episode that we're talking about today, he does multiple voices. Oh, on really? he does yeah, all yeah, the he does high a school kids. voices. I think that's who it is. Yeah, yeah I would imagine. Kids. But uh, yeah, so uh, David Herman's great. He's the overweight Irish stubborn self-centered monkey is David Herman. Yeah. <laughs> and I think those are really the only two ongoing characters besides the girlfriend that he's always pining for and he can't have so he drinks. Which the the girlfriend is a lady named Becky Thire. I've never heard okay. of her. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're out on the sea. Here comes another sea monster. Drinky has now blown his brains out, so half of his head's missing. Yeah. There's actually uh, two King of the Hill uh connections to this. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is no time for suicide. suicide. We're, We're about, about to, to be, be killed. killed. <laughs> Gabby's not right about that eternal sexual torture. That would be bad. So he goes right down to the bottom of the sea. He's got an anchor around his neck, drinking. Oh, he sees a meme. Mame, he sees um, a mermaid. Mer- <laughs> Why can't I say mermaid? A merman. A merlady. He sees a mermer. Mer- 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 Merlot. And then the monkey comes and gets him. The mermaid floats away. Oh, giving him mouth to mouth. To While holding his crow. feet. Look at <laughs> Uh, <laughs> coughed up a fish. You won't well, believe what I just spit. saw, Uncle Gabby. I'm so aroused. I must kiss something. I, let me kiss you. <laughs> I'm so aroused. I gotta I kiss, something. kiss something. Look at the show of hair. I saw a mermaid. Well, okay. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. They're back on a boat. Big boat. Don't hunt me down for vengeance, husband whale. Caring for my gimpy minded friend is punishment enough. No. Well, you can tell uh, that's uh, David Herman. I've never felt clearer. Yeah. <laughs> you could definitely hear it. He uh, drank a bunch and passed out. The French spy is you. Pamela Adlon. Whenever we get to oh, the really? French spy, I don't know if she's in the pilot. If it's oh. beautiful, you're imagining it. <laughs> oh. Eh? <gasps> oh, Uncle Gabby. I thought that's you her, said right? I was beautiful. Uh, Captain's daughter. Captain's daughter. No, it's, oh, uh, okay. For you, I make an exception. She is creepy Wait, looking. An idea. Her big I round give you nose. This whale blubber sandwich. You let me kiss you in three places. I pick the places. Oh, that might be her. <laughs> Naughty monkey. Yeah, I think that is her. <laughs> She's hitting me with a stick. 
beating him up. They're kicking the shit out of him, yeah. too. <laughs> Jeez. To the fact that, oh, stabs him right in the eyeball. With my daughter, Mr. Gabby. I can explain. No, this, this, is not not this is Becky Thayer. Her hobbies include never hey, bathing and flossing her teeth while taking dumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's whipping the monkey. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. You got a mosquito. Uh, little bugs. Is that a mosquito? No, uh, it's a little roach drinking, oh, the, roach. drinking the blood. I have cancer. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> He tells the fly he has Mermaids cancer. Don't exist. It's pretty dark. Uncle Gabby, I saw her. Now they're out on the boat. Blind drunk. I by was themselves. puking drunk. Chop, chop, Fine. grocery. I'll prove it to you. Show us everything you've got that's pot fish, pot woman. Well, does ass fish? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> ass Leg fish. fish? Leg sure. fish. Bosom fish? Bosom right. fish. Bosom fish. Clam? Some titty fish. <laughs> clam. <laughs> Just clam. Clam. I knock mouth crab. Carol's boyfriend is a lawyer. Why aren't you a lawyer? No mermaid. Then? A nag mouth oh, mermaid, crab. What are you, stupid? Big ass lips. <laughs> He's still whipping the shit out of him. I can't believe I yelled at you and you have When the bugs are in the cuts in his back. This is a weird ass show, man. <laughs> it's weird. I gotta really sit down and watch this now. Yeah. Well, it's only one season. There's only one season of it? Yeah, I believe that so. That trip to the Chinese yeah, grocery is. store didn't prove anything. Season. That was the Eleven best Chinese episodes. grocery yeah. store in the world. Admit it, Drinky Crow. <laughs> you believe in mermaids that make your life seem tolerable. But mm. it's time to mm. face facts. What a point. If you believe in something, it must exist, Drinky Crow. Follow your heart. That's not true Thank at you, all. Captain's daughter. <laughs> I will. Yeah. <laughs> and then here he goes. Where does he get all the brown liquor? I have no clue. So he drank a bunch. <laughs> Passed out. He's flying Why'd away. That for? It's moronic. To get him out of your cabin. Oh. Now they're kissing and sexing. Daddy cross with you? Oh. Ah! She scratches the shit out of him. Yeah, this is crazy. Who's looking out for the French? Oh, the French. Here we go. Huh? Oh, he's looking right down the cannon of a bunch of French alligators. Found them! Attack, attack, attack! <laughs> Here they come. All the alligator friends. I think it's hilarious that they're, they're all alligators. <laughs> we are hagging you! Ha 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 ha! I know that, Captain. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Remember me? We danced together in <laughs> <laughs> the baseball. Oh, the Lieutenant Bronchi, that's Dino Stamata Tamapaba, whatever. Ah, okay. Bah! You are nothing to me. Silly These alligators girl. are rough looking with their, all their teeth. The I like the artwork. Uh -huh. I do. I appreciate uh -huh. the artwork for sure. Letting you to be the mistress of my it's very campy. Mistress, oh. mistress of my mistress. <laughs> very simple. Idiot. Step aside so I may mock him more. <laughs> okay, I'm no hero, but I'm gonna have to say no to that. <laughs> oh, Ow. sliced him right in oh, half. Gabby. I think my heart might be broken. I know for a fact my spine is dragging on the deck. <laughs> what is mutilation without two As he taps on him, a bunch of blood comes out. Pancakes. Oh, his guts without are laying out. Oh, I cut him in half. That's insane. I cut him in half. they got him on a, on a pole like they're going to catch a fish with him. Oh, and, and they, did. they did. Now he's a merman. <laughs> All right, and now uh, bears Ultra wiping their ass. Yeah. Uh, Charmin Ultra, which is unfortunate. But uh, as we get through this commercial here, uh, <laughs> here, let me turn this down. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Smooth Bear. Designed with smooth Mr. Smooth Bear. Yeah. So as we go through this commercial or whatever, uh, the animation is done. It's a CGI, uh -huh. but it was done by a company called Mirari Films yeah. in Romania. And uh, they use a digital format, which is called Maya, Autodesk Maya, which Maya. is a 3D yeah. computer graphic yeah. application. And uh, so the resolution and the color palette, they keep it low intentionally yeah. because they're going for a uh, traditional cell animated look like... Uh, it does uh, look something like from that. the 50s, like the children's TV cartoon does, shows from the 50s. It does look like that, but you can always tell when it's when it's computer animation because it's a little too smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. It's, it is it's, a little too smooth. Yeah, yeah. I think that, you know, talking about like cell animated and hand drawn and stuff like that, I think that's why like Cuphead, the game, the video game Cuphead was so visually pleasing yeah. is because it was all done by hand. Really it was well like done. a... Yeah. Almost decade long yeah. production process because they did it yeah, all. I by remember hand. hearing about that forever. Yeah, like it and uh, forever. it was a beautiful game. Yeah, by it was way, hard, but it was beautiful. By the way, try those Little Caesars crazy puffs. 
Oh, those are good. They actually look pretty good. <laughs> I've, I've, I've tried a couple of them. Damn, these commercial runs go <laughs> yeah, on for a while. Yeah, there's another commercial. Okay. This one's for yeah. Dove scalp uh, plus hair therapy. So. Let's, uh, Thanks, Dove. Let's talk about this a little bit more. So... Yeah. Uh, the theme song is actually done by They Might Be Giants. Actually, is it really? Yeah, and then uh, the other creator oh. of it was uh, Eric Kaplan. No, there's some truly. Uh, and Eric Kaplan is Thanks, also truly. a late show with David Letterman connection too. Oh, really? So the two guys, like a couple of guys here, you have know, Letterman connections, and then you have like King of the Hill connections in here too. It does feel like like once these guys in a group all get together, that they help each other out. Yeah, well, quite a bit. Hey, well, Belvita, here you go. There you go. Like a, a cookie made by a cheese company. Oh, that's disgusting. So Eric <laughs> Kaplan actually. He Not also really. worked on Malcolm in the Middle, Futurama, and The Simpsons. Oh. And he did the Big Bang Theory. So oh, there you go. But uh, his first writing job was actually with The Late Show with David Letterman. He worked there for a year and Maybelline, a half. Maybelline, New York. Jesus, how many commercials are there in this Adult Swim? That's yeah, too many. A lot of them. I just want to. This is an 11 minute show. It Why is. have we seen 85 commercials? I have no clue. This is insanity. Oh, hey, Max Original. There we go. One more. Hopefully that's it, yeah. <gasps> yeah, he says here with uh, in his Streaming first year sucks, with Futurama, guys. he was a story editor on every episode. So On Futurama? Yeah, he did all the story editing. Huh. And then uh, even though he had a lot of input on many aspects of the entire first season, he didn't get writing credit until nine episodes in. Holy crap. And then oh. he was promoted to producer after that. So. He's probably a, like an intern almost, you know. I bet it takes a lot to get into those groups like that. All right, let's see. Is this the last one? Yeah, you gotta have proof of you gotta have proof of products. Hey, it's hard to have proof go. of products. Oh, Drinky Crow, I love you, but you have to choose between. It went me back and to the drinking. beginning. Oh, that was the end of it. Please. I think that was the end oh, of the episode. Okay. So they. Yeah, that no, was it. Dude, we didn't see it. Oh, I guess no, we was didn't. Was that it? No. I uh, was saying there's, a, there's a little it. bit less. Yeah. Okay, so he saves him from the shark. Still only half, but yeah. But now he's half shark. Half shark, half monkey. Where did, the, where did all the sails and stuff? I guess they blew them all up. grief stricken whale whose wife you killed, Gabby. He just has to be ready to move on to a new relationship. the ship to look like the whale wife. Yeah, a grief stricken whale. We're going to be saved. Oh, here he comes. Yeah. The big purple whale. And for those of you who know anything about Pokemon, his face and his head looks like the Pokemon coughing. Does it? Are you gonna cry? I don't know about it. I'm right here. So he sees his big it. pink upside down whale wife that they've already killed. Yeah. Here he comes, and he slops oh, right on top of him. Oh, it's the most painful he's, and he's, disgusting. Hey, he's, he's screwing the boat. <laughs> oh no! But yeah, see his face kind of. So oh yeah, 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 he does it. Kind of like easy. Hey, he's hey, he's humping the shit. He's the humping the boat in half. <laughs> He's getting like violent. Here. This was, <laughs> yeah. He just act monkeys are hero. Yeah, he just my beautiful ripped uniform. that boat in pieces. If I do not now there's an alligator I just floating. Drown. He goes down How with the ship. How I love you, Lieutenant Vranchi, and I always will. Vranchi. My love has conquered your death. Ooh, meat pies. Let's just eat some meat pie. There you go. Hey, Gabby. Instead of dreaming of what doesn't exist, we should find love where we are. Gabby's huh? just bleeding to death. Yeah. Special it's delivery for Mr. Him. Gabby. On the other hand, it's our love for the unattainable that inspires us to accomplish great things. I will call you. <laughs> Big whale says I will call you. Who do you prefer, Gabby? The unattainable ideal or the here and now? I have no interest in discussing this. <laughs> Oh, and the flies are screwing inside, inside of, of the, the hole inside of Gabby. <laughs> what an actual! This fuck. is insanity, isn't it? Oh, now he's shooting out pupa, and we fade out. They're all drunk. That is a crazy ass show. Oh, there's the mermaid coming after the boat. All right, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's that one. That one's that's that's a nuts up little show there. <laughs> that was something, wasn't it? Yeah, that's something else. Yeah, it's a hell of a show. And like I said, I <clears throat> remember, folks, this is what was on what was formerly a children's television network. <laughs> yeah. You got flies fucking, but it's a children's television yeah, network. A fly fucking a roach. Anyway, okay. Well there you go, guys. Uh Drinky Crow. Yeah, the Drinky Crow Show. Uh, enjoy the hell out of that. Uh, you want to tell them where they can find us? Yeah, you can find us at Funky Ear Podcast. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, on Twitter and Instagram, and you could also uh, email us at funkyearpodcast at gmail.com. Funky Ear Podcast. All right, guys, thanks again for being here. We appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed Swimmer's Ear. Go watch Drinky the Crow and uh, figure out what we were talking about. Also, don't support any of those ads. Swimmer's Ear. See you, guys. You can find uh, Swimmer's Ear anywhere you get your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. Don't forget to take your Clara drill. See our ad in Tables and Chairs magazine. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. I'm not sure what I'm saying.